Creative economics is the fourth step of the economics development in the world. In Indonesia also, of course. Why should be creative? A product will have an ordinary value without creativity. With creativity, the product will be changed into new forms which have the higher economic values. Creative leads us to think. Not just function, but also design. Not just argument, but also story. Not just focus, but also symphony. Not just logic, but also empathy. Not just seriousness, but also play. Not just accumulation, but also meaning. Jogja, an area in Indonesia which has a small weight and population. Small, isn't it? Hmm. But let's take a look. The people of Jogja are dominated by the productive ages. And from this considered small area, there are more than 3,600 craft industries. There is also in Jogja, an Indonesian art institute which has produced many graduates in the field of arts and culture. Moreover, Jogja has been known as the city of students, tourism and culture. An area which is so creative. The creative economics has many subsectors. But Jogja has a commitment to focus on the craft creative industry, information technology based creative technology, cultural and tourism creative industries. So, those sectors have a remarkable prospect to be grown in Jogja. Yup, certainly, it is based on the potential of Jogja itself. Who doesn't know batik? This pattern fabric craft is the main export commodity from Jogja. The motive of Jogja's batiks are so many. Surely we can remember it one by one. Batik has been appointed as masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity by UNESCO. In addition to batik, Jogja is also known as the ceramics craft from Kasongan village, silver craft from Kota Gede village, leather craft from Manding village, and wooden craft from Krebet village. Eko Nugroho is one of the personages from Jogja who has been known worldwide. The works of Eko Nugroho has attracted Louis Vuitton. It was started from an exhibition in Musée d'Art Modern, Paris, which has created by escape cultural Louis Vuitton. Eko Nugroho started to be ogled by Louis Vuitton to make one of his paintings as a scarf by the world-class fashion house. In the information technology-based creative industry, Jogja has a great potential. Jogja becomes the main destination for the national movies production. Even in 2013 and 2014, Jogja became the location for the shooting of some Hollywood movies. If you are the game fans, you will surely know one of the biggest game producers in the world, Gameloft. Gameloft is creative industry of game making from France which entrusts the production process in Jogja. Jogja becomes the competitive location so that Gamlov decided to recruit hundreds of Indonesian engineers in Jogja to join them. When we talk about creativity, we do not talk about the products. The making process is also interesting to be looked closer. Yes, it is why there are many tourist villages in Jogja, spread all over Jogja and are visited by the tourists from various countries. Let's take a look on the distribution of tourist villages in Jogja. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wow! They are so many, right? To increase the creative economics investment in Jogja, the government emerges the incentives and facilities. The investment outlets of Jogja are the best three existing in Indonesia, and surely the services are good. For more information, Click jogjainvest.jogjaprof.go.id Let's develop Jogja and Indonesia through the investment which supports the national development. Creative Economics, the new power of Indonesia toward 2025.